Hi guys, uh, just a quick VR uh, for uh, Mr. Scooty 1968. Uh, what he wants to do oh, on the occasion of his uh, 250 subs. Well done, Scott. Um, I'm sure you're uh, you'll reach many more than that fairly soon. Uh, what he wanted is to show our fire kits uh, and to have a brewing brew. So uh, that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. Have a quick brew and just go through my mishmash of a fire kit with you. So uh, I'll get my stove out and we'll get the brew on. Right, um, I've been messing around with uh, some alcohol stoves and uh, this one I've, I saw on the internet um, and basically it was. Uh, it was an American um, sort of how to make a stove for a dollar. And what it is, it's a uh, it's an aluminium water bottle uh, which I bought from the 99p store. So it cost me 99p. Um, cut down, and the the top is just pressed in to the the bottom uh, with a few little slots in the bottom. A few slots uh, in the top of the bottle so that uh, your fuel can uh, get into this chamber and some really tiny holes all around the outside uh, and it is really quite efficient the only trouble is is with a stove of this size it does limit the sort of pots you can put on it uh, my 10 centimeter pot that I use with my hobo stove is too small uh, the flames just come up the outside of it, so it's not very efficient when you use it on there. But uh, if I use use my kettle on it, uh, it works quite well. So I'm going to put a little bit of mess in there, uh, put some water in the kettle, and get it on the go. Okay, The only other problem with that is that it takes a, a little while to bloom. Um, but once it does bloom, it does remarkably well. When I tested it, uh, when I first made it indoors, uh, it boiled uh, 400 ml of water uh, within five minutes. And uh, after it boiled the water, I blew it out, made myself a cup of tea, uh, and then proceeded to uh, cook uh, egg and bacon on it as well. And that was only on around about 30 ml of fuel. So uh, that was quite good. I was quite pleased with it. But I'm going to play around with uh, slightly smaller ones and, uh, and see how that works. Right, if I can just, I'll quickly go through what I've got in my uh, uh, fire kit. I keep everything in this um, 
this whole canvas bag, really. Um, it's only really just to keep everything together. I don't always take everything out with me. Um, and in fact, I really rarely take it all out with me. Um, I always carry a, a turbo lighter in my pocket. Uh, that's something that uh, I've always got on me. So that's normally is my first line of, uh, of fire lighting. Uh, but uh, sometimes you need a little bit of help, as we all know. So, first things first, I've got the obligatory uh, tin. Um, and in that, all I've, all I've really got is uh, a packet which has got some cotton wool pads uh, which are soaked in uh, petroleum jelly. Uh, quite a few in there. Uh, so uh, that's always a, a good good starter for a fire. Um, fire steel, it's only a cheap one, but to be honest with you, it really does does give out a good uh, spark. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, and that's always handy to, to use. So uh, there's that. And, and some matches. Uh, these are uh, waxed soaked matches with a striker uh, so they are waterproof uh, they they're strike anywhere matches uh, so uh, but I always think matches are a, are a commodity that people don't really uh, use a lot so they're always there as a backup and they're kept in in the tin so that's the, the tin now everything else is in plastic bags uh, little lock bags, there's some birch bark there, excellent fire lighting uh, starter, uh, you just obviously scrape the, uh, the birch to give you some dust um, and then the, the, birch, the bark actually ignites quite well as well, so birch bark, This is uh, some Brasso wadding, uh, you don't need a lot of that, but uh, it's absolute excellent stuff uh, to, uh, to, get, to get a fire going, it's always worth carrying some of that. So birch bark, uh, sorry, um, Brasso. Got some uh, jute twine there, uh, again, um, all you do with that is cut a little bit off of it and uh, just fluff it up right? and it makes a, it's a good tinder for, for inside your nest uh, for when you want to start. Again, excellent stuff. Um, and it's, uh, I've seen it woven into uh, bracelets, paracord bracelets, um, and it, so it's, a, it's an excellent fire starter. So, jute string. Some charcroft there, um, great stuff. Again, I, I don't have a flint and steel. It's something that uh, I've been meaning to get myself for quite a while. Um, but I made some uh, charcloth just to uh, to try, you know, because I'd never made it before. Uh, so it's it's worth carrying. So uh, charcloth. Now these things, uh, I actually bought these again in the 99p store and they were down as fire lighters and um, you just use a couple and they're designed to look like matches but they actually, um, once they're lit, uh, they actually stay lit for uh, quite a while uh, and uh, again, you know, sort of if you've got slightly damp tinder, you know, this is, this is great because this will keep burning for a while and um, it'll actually uh, get you get you fire started. So uh, ain't nice and cheap, but a useful uh, useful bit of kit. Um, quite an old cramp ball. Uh, again, I've I have uh, it has taken a spark, and I've you know a little bit of it. 
and uh, it's, it is very useful stuff because that will just glow for hours um, so again natural firelighter material very good and then lastly I've got a bit of fat wood again all you do with this is just take a couple of scrapings of I have a few built more bits than this but I've used it up um, you just really just take the scrapings off of it and then light it you don't want to light a whole chunk like that uh, very useful so that's all my bits and pieces all kept within that canvas bag um, like I say I always carry I always carry a uh, Always carry a turbo lighter, absolutely fantastic bit of kit. Yeah, I think I've, I've had this a year and I think I've filled it up once. Um, and I use it for the paracord bits and pieces to burn the ends. Yeah, I tend to use this most of the time to light fires with, like my candle of the night time when I'm camping. So, again, cracking bit of kit. I would not be without it in my pocket. So there you go, Scott. That's my what I call mismatch of a, a fire kit. Uh, loads of bits and pieces, but it does give you an option. But like I say, I don't take it out, all of it out with me all the time. Uh, what tends to go with me very quickly is the tin, and I'm afraid, uh, you know, it's the cotton balls soaked in in uh, petroleum jelly um, <clears throat> that I use most um, hopefully I can get this uploaded in time um, so that it will qualify for your uh, your giveaway once again Scott congratulations on 250 subs and uh, hope to see you at the bushcraft show mate oh and if any you know, please the link below is, uh, is Scott's channel Please go and give him a view, and if you like what you see, give him a sub. Alright mate, all the best, and uh, speak to you soon. Bye now.